Applying technology used to be a very simple problem in the information systems business. Uh, you had mainframes and you had terminals connected to those mainframes and that was about it. So we have a lot of reports, we have a lot of screens, we have a lot of things that have been developed over the last several decades. What we lack though is the, the ability to present that information to a decision maker in a form that's easily digested and, and rapidly acted upon. What we think client server does for us in that environment is allows us to, to present information in ways that, that we couldn't do it before. Here's an example of one of our client server applications. This is Famous, and Famous allows our marine scheduling group to keep track of the positions of different tankers on the water as they carry product to our different refineries. Um, it allows them to communicate a lot easier than they could before with their paper system because the corporate data is shared in Oracle, and they can get to that data a lot easier through the uh, Macintosh interface. Famous was developed in fourth dimension um, which is a relational database engine for a, a local use, but we actually didn't use any of those features of fourth dimension. All the data is coming from Oracle on the host. Oracle provides a suite of development tools that work along with fourth dimension, so you can embed SQL statements directly in your application's code and ship them off to Oracle, and the results can come back into local variables in fourth dimension. Prior to Famous, we had a regular paper blizzard. Each time that we purchased a deal, did an exchange, did a sale, we started off with a flash sheet, and we had to handwrite this flash sheet. Not only the flash sheet, but we had to go along the, the corresponding spec sheet as well. Then we had to distribute it. We had a number of people that this had to go out to. It, they had to either be uh, hand-delivered, faxed, or overnight mail, and if you made a change, whether you changed the volume or the delivery date or the refinery or, or anything on it, you got to do it again because we like paper. This department had absolutely no technical support whatsoever. Everything was paper. When you did a deal, you walked around trying to notify people of something that you did. When you made a change, you, a lot of times you left people out of the loop. You didn't let people, the right people know that something had happened. With this system, we're able to communicate uh, through a network that has been developed. Uh, anytime we make a change to a deal, um, the only way you can not know what's going on is if you are deaf and you don't hear the ding because this beeps at you when there's a message, or if you're blind and you can't see the little apple flashing because you always know that there is a change in a flash sheet or some type of operational change because you're notified through the quick mail process. I think at SICKO, one of the things we're really stressing right now in the information systems is to actually become partners with our business, our operational folks. What we're trying to do is actually form a partnership to solve a business problem for our end customer. So we're no longer separating technology from people who actually run the business. We're bringing those together and we're really forming a partnership to solve that problem. So we have the right match of technology with the business need. One of the reasons why we chose Oracle in the first place is because of its interconnectivity with many platforms. Right now in Famous, we're connecting to a Macintosh because that was our desktop choice and we were going in an area where they did not have existing um, hardware. But we know that Oracle will connect to Unix, Fax, IBM, to the mainframe, whatever we might have as the needs arise, we can do that. The Macintosh and Oracle combination really provides us with a, an ability to easily engineer those applications. Uh, uh, we tried some other platforms and what we found was we were spending all of our time fighting technical problems, dealing with memory limitations, dealing with network speeds and so forth. Uh, by combining Macintosh and Oracle and our networking uh, environment, we've been able to kind of push those off to the side as far as the application's developer is concerned. So that person's free to focus on dealing with the business and the problems of the business as opposed to trying to solve technical problems.
One of the things that we're really doing or trying to do and doing successfully in the famous project is to reduce demurrage. We pay a fine when our ships arrive at the dock at the same point in time, as much as $30,000 a day. So by giving everyone factual information about when those ships are coming, such as the latitude and longitude as the ships telex that information in and that's entered in the system, everyone has access to that, even our traffic controller at our refinery locations. So the more information that we can provide that way, we're able to schedule our divert ships and avoid paying demurrage costs. Now that the system's in and running, they've been using it for a period of time, we estimate that um, we're saving anywhere from one to five days a month in demurrage cost. Three years ago, we had maybe 300 ship movements on the water. Uh, now we're upwards of 1,200 uh, for the year. There is no way for sane people to be able to continue at that kind of pace without some sort of assistance. I suspect that we wouldn't have been able to do it with the same volume of personnel that we have now and we may have had to have staffed up. This way we have been able to increase the amount of business that we're doing with the same amount of staff. Uh, by combining Macintosh and Oracle it's going to allow our operation to be more closely uh, focused in on on doing the business that Sitgo is engaged in, which is refining and marketing petroleum products. We're not in the technology business. We don't want to spend our time trying to chase information down and trying to, to move information from point A to point B. That ought to be something that happens automatically. So our vision for the Information Systems Group is that in the 90s we become a utility that provides information exactly to the person who needs it, in the time he needs it, in the form he needs it.